Happy girl, can you speak? <laughs> Hey guys, we're here at the uh, fish hatchery. We're just getting uh, unloaded. We're gonna make our way over. We gotta walk the canal because it's after hours. It's about six o'clock. They close at four. So during the working hours, you can walk across the grounds down to the uh, the actual pool itself. But after hours, they ask that you take the canal. So we're gonna hop down there. It's a little bit tricksy getting down there. It's not too bad actually. Um, but if you have walking uh, uh, issues and stuff like that, it may prove to be a bit of a challenge. So just a heads up. All right, I just got to wrangle on Olive and we'll get going. Come on, girl. Let's go. Good day, everyone. I wanted to take a quick moment to introduce myself to you verbally, since I don't have an intro, unfortunately, filmed for this video. My name is William Juby. I'm the creator of New Scotland Fishing Adventures. I hope you're enjoying the content so far. Please feel free at the end to drop a comment, like, subscribe, so you can see additional videos that I post very soon and regularly. Thank you again. Enjoy. Hey guys, this place is uh, kind of unique. The uh, rock wall kind of reminds me of being out west. It's actually right up there. And it shoots up around the outside corner of that uh, run. It stretches on for about maybe 100, 150 meters. It's a good length of run. It's almost like a separate uh, section of this hatchery pool. Um, some people will do that and break it up and then down right here at the end of this. So kind of continue on and feed all the way down through down to the top of the rapids just down the way there. Right out here in front of me is a rock ledge underneath the water. It runs about 15 feet deep. They'll actually send divers out there to do salmon counts. So it's kind of cool. Um, I don't know how often they do it, but I just know that they do. And they even take a collection to see how many salmon are tagged if they're returning fish hatchery salmon or if they're actual wild Atlantic salmon. And uh, it's just all for the study process. It's kind of neat. You can't catch and cook salmon in this province. It's been that way for quite a number of years now where it's catch and release only. You do pay an extra $45 for your salmon license if you're a local resident. I don't know what it is for non-residents, but anyway, you have to release everything that you catch for salmon. They are deemed an endangered uh, species now. We've really got to protect what we have. Handle with care, keep an eye on the water temperature, and don't do anything to harm them other than catching them and minimal handling if possible. We're gonna make our way through to the top of the run. It's a bit of a trek. I will say this much, when you do a little bit of walking, and I did some walking before I started filming just to do a bit of a recce, um, so you build up a bit of a sweat, and uh, it's always nice just to kind of dip yourself down and cool yourself off. Oh, cool. Olive's gonna get the old uh, deer flies after again tonight, so she's not gonna be overly happy, but 
The fish are jumping already. They're just the little guys. Oh, that's so nice. I kind of missed the trail there. Anyway, we're back onto it here. So, this is that rock face I was talking about. It runs the whole section, basically all the way up around the corner. It's not granite, it's actually slate, just really tightly compact slate. You can tell because the rock wall is kind of breaking apart. Anyway, I'm gonna launch the drone from here and uh, we're gonna get a bird's eye view. So, here we go.
All right guys, it's getting late. Uh, we pretty much fished the entire uh, pool here at Hatchery. I hope you enjoyed the drone footage. There was some eagle action I saw. Feel free to uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this or if you wanna leave any comments or anything like that to see any types of footage or any types of camera angles or any types of fish caught, <laughs> any fish caught at all. Um, the margarita's tough, I'm not gonna lie. So basically, you guys have fun. And remember the water's out there. Go get it.